Hello 678 and CA students. For those of you who don't know me, my name is William McLeod. I'm an 11th grader at CA students and I'm very excited to be able to give a devotional today. Today I'm going to be discussing a little bit about standing firm in your faith through trials. I'm going to be referring to Matthew 24 verses 9 through 14, starting with verse 9. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. And at that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will go cold. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. So there's a lot going on here, and I'm going to do my best to break it down for you guys. I've decided that there's really two parts to this passage. There's one, the situation, and this is the problems that we face. And the reason that we have these problems is because uh, we want to be like Christ. And because the world hated Christ, the world would hate us because we uh, strive to be like him. And the second is the call from God to stand firm. And we have this call because on Judgment Day, when God judges the world, he wants us to be able to say that we were able to stand uh, strong and to not lean on our own understanding and to not follow our own past but to follow him straight and true the whole time that's very important going back to the situation I'm going to talk a little bit about persecution and persecution is a hostility towards a group uh, whether that be racial political uh, religious and I believe that everyone will every Christian has or will go through some form of persecution whether that be at school or at home or at work, anywhere. Personally, I have uh, faced persecution at school where people treated me differently because I was a Christian. Sometimes they treated me hostily and uh, were just hateful in the way that they responded to me. And even if you aren't personally being persecuted right now, uh, that doesn't mean you don't pray for those who are. you got to pray for them so that they would stand firm in their faith and that they wouldn't lean on their own and own understanding and that they would follow him uh, faithfully. But what does it mean to stand firm? Standing firm uh, means that even when the odds are against you and it may sound better to just give up and go home, that you would call on Jesus' name when you're in trouble. That you uh, would look to him and not to what you think would be best for you. Uh, it's, it's tough to know or it's tough to deal with but it but rest in knowing that even if you do fall, God is there to pick you up. That God won't let you uh, fall to the ground and stay there. He's there to support you. And it's very important to know this. An example from the Bible uh, that I love of standing firm is Samson. Samson was a godly man who felt the temptation, but God was there to help him stand up and stay strong. And it's such an inspiration to me because all the time I feel like, oh, I did it bad this time. But God is still there to help me to stand firm. There's nothing that I can do, nothing that you can do that won't um, that God won't be able to forgive you for and help you to stand firm in. And it's just so so inspiring for me and uh, I love it so much and it just gives me so much hope that I can um, always look to him and he would be there for me. Um, yes. So I have a challenge for CA students in 678 and that is to stand firm. Let's see. It's important to be in community, and so during this quarantine time where it's difficult to physically be with people because we can't, we're not allowed to, it's important to get on Zoom or Google Hangout or whatnot and just talk to people about Christ, be in community, go to life groups, just constantly be in the Bible, be in the Word, look to people, look to friends who um, are in the faith so that you guys can build off one another and support each other in this battle. Um, it's important that we are all there for each other. There's a passage in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 4.12 says, A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. It's important. We need to be there for one another. We need to support one another through hard times, uh, through trials. We need to be there for one another so that we can fight this fight together. This isn't a battle we can fight on our own. It's also important to be in the Bible. 
if uh, you're not reading the Bible, you won't know what's the truth. And so when you see something that may look right and it's wrong, you will stray from the truth, from God's truth. And that's that's very sad. We don't want to stray from God's truth. We want to stay on the path of righteousness. And we need to make sure that when we're reading our Bible, we would meditate on the word and just think about it constantly. And it's very important to do this. We'll see you students and six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm done. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. It's been very helpful for me and I hope it will be very helpful for you guys. Thanks.